jump work that time, but... Uh... Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to the stream plays PS2 Gauntlet thing. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing, man. Does anyone... Oh boy, no, we are starting up Metal Gear Solid 2 today. I'm pretty excited for this one. It was, I think, the number one voted game on our list of uh, games to complete there. It was definitely one of the top. I know that much for sure, and I'm pretty sure it was the top voted one. Um, but I could be wrong on that. Wrong on that. Let's do reverse on own view. I think that'll give us inverted vertical controls and everything else is probably fine screen adjustment is that just like move it around it is uh move you a tiny bit to the right i think there we go that looks okay brightness adjustment can we actually adjust in game or is it just saying like change your monitor settings just saying change your monitor settings yeah well it actually looks pretty decent on mine i I think it does on stream as well, so we're good. We're good. Let's just jump right into it then, shall we? New game, let's go, dude. You haven't finished Game of Thrones yet, Nate, but you're getting close. Good to hear. I, uh, I'm curious what you'll think about the end, to be honest with you, because, I mean, not going to give you any spoilers, of course, but as I think everyone knows at this point, Game of Thrones Season 8 got uh, some mixed reviews, that's for sure. Some people thought it was okay i know at least one person that said they really liked it i think they're a little bit insane <laughs> but uh i don't think it's the worst thing in the world either just a, a letdown compared to the quality of the rest of the series but i'm excited to see uh what you think about it difficulty level we should probably just do normal right like very easy is out of the question Hard is pretty much out of the question <laughs> with how much we struggled with Metal Gear Solid 1. So I'm thinking easy or normal, we'll probably just go normal. I don't know if it's possible to change the difficulty later on or not. It would be nice if it was, but yeah, a lot of games don't do that. We'll just go normal, man. We might, we'll probably end up having to refight some people uh, a few times and things, but it'll be okay. Radar appears even during intrusion views. Radar does not appear during intrusion view. Radar will not appear at all. Uh, this should actually make it a little bit easier, having radar type 1. So there you go. Well, that's the compromise we'll make, man. We'll do normal difficulty, but we'll make the radar a little bit easier for us. Have it appear all the time, man. 24-7. No, well, I don't know if that's true, but... Two years ago. Meh. We had classified intelligence that a new type of Metal Gear was scheduled for transport. The whole thing stank, but our noses have been out in the cold too long. Here's hoping my capture card doesn't fuck up this time like it did the first time we uh, tried out this game. <laughs> Just lose sound right as soon as the cutscene here starts. Like a normal city environment's weird, honestly, man. Just because, you know, I'm so used to seeing him, like, in the woods and military complexes and things like that. So just walking around with cars on a bridge, just a normal, shitty, rainy day in a city, like, that's. <laughs> it's odd, man. Feels weird. I gotta plug in my headphones. I'll BRB while the uh, cutscene plays.
All right, I'm back. Got the headphones plugged in. Hopefully, they won't die in the middle of the stream. Chocobo, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. MGS3, you got it, my guy. Actually, since I have seen this cutscene before, I'll go ahead and add that in now. Just gotta bring up this. That takes us up to 28 votes on Metal Gear Solid 3, making it, yes, <laughs> even though it's not eligible yet, it is the number one voted game <laughs> for the game to complete. And my controller just fell off of it. Damn vibrations, dude. Thankfully, it looks okay. I don't think it broke anything. Hey, Mr. Noodle. Welcome, love. Welcome, welcome. Oh, quick reminder to everyone, too, while the cutscene continues to play here, don't forget that unowned games right now have a 100x multiplier and will until I get all of the prices included for the uh, for the base vote amount. Um, don't know exactly how long that will be, but you have at least a little while. I need to turn down the game just a little bit. I had it turned up for the cutscene, but it's a little bit too loud, I think. Yes, two sons of liberty. Let's go, dude. This is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? I'm at the sneak point. Everything going okay? Mm, stealth camo's busted. Landing impact. We must have mm. overused it. Sorry, but you're gonna have to deal with it. You're not in the military anymore. Right. I didn't plan on relying on this gadget anyway. The private sector's not so bad, is it? Privacy guaranteed? I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. You mean that thing with Naomi? And I can't say I miss the chattering nanny. Mei Ling's not so bad. That reminds me, I have to get in touch with her again about that new Natick flashware. Diverting toys from the SSCEN again? Look, give her a message from me. Someone will find out, sooner or later. She's better off assuming it's sooner and quit while she's safe. Too true. Okay, Snake, let's get to work. You know how the technical specs of Metal Gear were sold on the black market after Shadow Moses? All Ocelot's doing. Exactly. And now every state, group, and dot com has its own version of Metal Gear. Not exactly a classified weapon for today's nuclear powers. Hey, what's this up, man? Seems to have been Welcome to the stream. To the floor with all the other models. The only consistent description is that it's an amphibious anti-metal gear vehicle. That explains why this one is under Marine Corps jurisdiction. Saga of charming 90s voice acting continues. Yes, sir. The mission Although, is to make visual confirmation pretty good at least. Being transported by that tanker and bring back photographic evidence. But I want you first to go up to the top level of the infrastructure, to the bridge. We need to find out where the tanker is headed. A little reconnaissance, huh? There's too much we don't know about this new prototype. Capabilities, deployment method. We don't even know how close it is to completion. If we know where the testing arena is, I can start to draw some reasonable conclusions. All right, I'll head to the bridge ASAP. Try to avoid confrontations. Our goal bridge. is to collect evidence on metal gear development and expose it to the world. It would be best if you could get out of there without alerting anyone. Don't worry, I know the drill. We're not terrorists. Very good. Don't you forget that you're part of philanthropy now, an anti-metal gear organization and officially recognized by the UN. Recognized, but still fringe, Otacon. Let's All go. Right. You would... Let's look at your gear. Damn it. <laughs> I don't think we need to really hear this part that bad. I, uh, considering we just played through the intro of this, like, what, two, three months ago, you would think I'd remember more, but I don't. <laughs> I've forgotten basically everything except for the boss fight that we did. So that's good. Uh, <laughs> we're probably going to struggle a little bit here and there. Just a fair warning ahead of time. Uh, at least we have first-person camera view this time, though. That's nice. I'll adore the fact that the voice actors never change for their characters during the whole franchise. Very nice. Wait, except five? They did change for five? Hey, Snake? Cigarettes? What's wrong with you? It's kind of a lucky That's too bad. It'd be nice if they were able to keep the same ones throughout the whole thing, but I mean... 
I get why things Here's have to change every now and then, you know? Works almost the same way as I mean, these old. games are set a fair distance apart from each other, and they hop between, like, you know, the chronological order doesn't go one, two, three, four, five. It kind of jumps all over the place. And then once you throw in the original Metal Gear and, and spin off games and whatnot, hey, it gets even more confusing. These are nice so I get it. I get Marines, it. Not terrorists. Don't get caught. You're in stealth mode here. Sure. And if it comes to that, a little beauty sleep never hurt anyone. By the way, Autocon, are you sure of this intelligence? Absolutely. Hacked it out of the Pentagon's classified files myself. No traces. The Marines, no, don't kill them. We got Autocon on our side trap. now. Remember. There's a price on our heads. You're just being paranoid. It's nice knowing where these guys came so. from. Those men. Since we've actually played one now, we spear. we know a little bit about All what the, the hell's ships going on. On the river and in the harbor, putting uniformed marines on the deck would be a bad idea. People can get a clear view of the water from Riverside too. I don't know if I've talked about it. According to the navigational plans, this ship I'll should have discharged its cargo upriver. It's in there, no doubt about it. The military trains you to watch for threats from the stern on a boat. That's SOP for counter-terror ops, too. Security should be tighter. You worry too much. Where's the target? Satellite surveillance is a major international pastime these days. I'd say the cargo holds, safely below the deck. Do you see the entrance to the holds? Looks like there are a few entryways into the crew quarters. The chopper. Hate to see it, my guy. Looks like we're not the only ones after Metal Gear tonight. Is that a chopper I just heard? Affirmative. Probably another cavalry. It's their game. Hijack? They're probably targeting the ship's controls. Otacon, how many men do you need? take over a tanker of this size. The ship is run by a computer, so I'd say about 18 people. 18, that's nothing, man. Take them out in our sleep. Russians? It's always the Russians. No marine barber touched that head of hair. I'm transmitting a photo. Let's get an ID on him ASAP. I'm on it. <laughs> like... I don't know if it's just looks because like we played Metal Gear now. Solid 1 not too long ago, but this game actually looks pretty Kasatka. damn decent, man. <laughs> His face looks HD in comparison to that. We need to get a fix on who they are. Judging by their transport, aren't they some kind of military commandos? Not necessarily. It could be the KA-62, the civil model. Look, Snake. All we need is the photographic evidence of Metal Gear. As long as we have those, we can put it online and blow the whole thing wide open. So no pyrotechnics, okay? All right. Uh, where's the fun I'll in do that? My best. This isn't like Shadow Moses. Reach me if anything happens. The frequency's 141.12. How can I check in and save my progress? I'll do it. There's a frequency set aside for it. 140.96. Sorry, but no Mei Ling this time. Call me on the codec when you want to save. Got it. I'll be waiting just past the Verrazano Bridge. You need to be off that ship by then. I'll be in touch. Isn't Shadow Moses a song by Bring Me the Horizon? <laughs> I can't remember the lyrics for the song off the top of my head, but I know they did songs inspired by and referencing uh, some survival horror games recently, notably uh, Resident Evil and... Oh, God, I can't remember the name of the... The other one, they did one. They definitely referenced another survival horror game, but I can't remember the name of it. Anyways, <laughs> now I can't help but wonder if their song Shadow Moses is somehow referencing Metal Gear Solid. Uh, but what I was going to say during the cutscene, 
I think I brought it up on stream, but I don't remember if I brought it up during one of the Metal Gear streams or whether it was a different one. But I did actually pick up a copy of the original Metal Gear on the original Nintendo as well and uh, played through that off of stream. I didn't play that one on stream. But I was surprised how... Like, obviously, it was a lot different, right? It was uh, no 3D on the Nintendo. Uh, it was all top-down. More... Confusing in a lot of ways. But they kept a lot of the same puzzles and things that, that I had experienced in Metal Gear Solid 1 and, what at the time, what we had tried of 2. And I was just surprised kind of how similar they were able to make it, all things considered. Okay, so we can crawl around prone. Can we? Can we crouch walk? Uh, hi, guy. You're not going to come over here, right? You're just going to stop right where you're at? How do we look forward again? R1. Okay. This is first person view. Very nice. We can leave that anytime. Okay. Switch weapons. Switch gear. L1 doesn't seem to do anything. That might be the auto aim slash lock on button though. Because I know that is a thing, but I don't know which one it is off the top of my head. Circles punch. Square is aim or shoot. Triangle. I think that picks up people. Okay, so holding X puts us there. L1 is auto-lock. Incredibly useful. Okay. I thought I had remembered you telling me that at some point, but I am uh, very forgetful about these sorts of things. Okay, nothing up here. I remember we need to get inside, and then we need to get to the top. That's about all I remember, though. Okay, so we can probably, like wait for him to come over here to us and then take him out. Uh, okay, let go of auto lock. Oh god. Did I shoot him? D did I not shoot him in the head? <laughs> oh, you know what? I think I let go of R1 instead of square. This is already going well. <laughs> oh god. I told you guys this was going to be bad. <laughs> Is this where is this where we just let a, let a checkpoint reload? I think this is the point where we just let a checkpoint reload. Learning pains, learning pains. That's all. Okay. Yeah, because I was holding R1 and Square to shoot the guy in the head, and then I let go of R1 instead of Square to shoot because you know I'm an idiot. That's the only reason why. <laughs> uh, it's gonna take it's gonna take a couple of minutes to get used to the to the controls here, but that's fine. We're still in the beginning of the game. I'd rather I'd rather get through the uh, the awkward bits now. But importantly, I do think our plan there worked. Right, I think we had a good plan of action. We just uh, <laughs> executed it very poorly. Okay, so this guy's gonna come over. Can I crouch you? I don't know if crouching actually helps us anyway. Is that guy gonna come all the way over here? He is. Oh god, he's coming down here. He hears us. Why did he hear us? Damn it. Okay, uh. Get, get up, snake. Ow. Ow. We should be getting rations here somewhere, so I'm going to try to just hide. I don't want to reload again. Uh, they're probably going to come up these stairs looking for us, so I'd rather keep going up for a moment. I heard someone hmm us. They might be down bottom, though. I think they're down below us. Yeah. 
Oh boy, okay, did we start with any rations by any chance? No, we do have a bandage. Stops blood loss. Okay, what's AP? Sensor detecting life form vibrates on enemy approach. Huh. Might as well have the bandage equipped. Is he coming up here? Oh shit, he is. Damn it, dude. Okay, I think we have to unequip, right? And then we can pick people up with square. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's drag him out of view in case anyone comes up here. And also dragging people around, Chocobo has told us before, is how we get stuff from him. Well, specifically picking them up and then dropping them. Which is weird there's not just a search button, but I mean, hey, you know, it works. Some M9 bullets. Oh God, okay, this guy's definitely coming up here. Uh, don't. Oh, God, dude. I was so scared there for a minute. I thought for sure he was coming up here, man. You can do it multiple times if you're lucky. <laughs> okay, no, we're fine. It's fine. There's probably going to be a guy up here, I imagine. Unless... No, this is the guy that saw us, isn't it? Actually. Oh, God. We are on zero life. Wait a second. Am I bleeding? Is that why... Is that why my life bar is orange? So we're, like, dead, aren't we? Holy fuck. Okay, we might end up reloading one more time here. Not going to specifically try to, but I imagine it's probably going to happen. Unless we get in this door here and there just happens to be a fucking... How do we use the door? Circle? Triangle. Triangle. I'm assuming that means it's locked. What do you got Snake. for us? It looks like that door can't be opened from the deck. You can I never would have imagined. Other doors. Thanks for the tip, my guy. Okay, walk slowly. Does the D-pad do anything? The D... Oh, okay, nope. See, I kind of wish the D-pad was auto-walk, but no, they use the pressure sensitivity for everything. So if you press the D-pad down normally, you walk. If you press it down hard, you run. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, can we... I just want to know if we can... Is there a guy down here anywhere? There's that guy right there. Okay, if we wait for him to go somewhere, we should be able to take him out and then get to a different door somewhere. I don't like where you're at right now. You can hold... Oh, you might be able to walk holding circle. I will give it a try. Excellent. Nope. Not in this one. Sadly. Not into. That must be a uh, three thing, I'm assuming. Or maybe the, uh, the remaster of two. What do you want? Snake, I'm guessing you're going to tell us how to open doors. Door into the ship's interior. Push the action button down in front of the door yep. and wait until the door opens before letting go. If you need to open the door faster, hit the action button repeatedly while you turn the handle. Make sure you keep doing it until the door's open. Okay. We can handle that. Come on. Give me give me some ammo. A new gun would be nice. Something that actually kills people. Because these guys are going to wake up eventually. Just ammo? I mean, we'll take it. We're inside. <laughs> it's a good first step, man. Now, can we get some rations somewhere, please? Snake, are you bleeding? Yes. If your life gauge is down to the point where it's red, the bleeding won't stop. As long as you're bleeding, your life gauge will keep dropping gradually. Besides that, the blood stains could put the enemy on your trail. The only way to stop the bleeding for good is to let your body recover until the life gauge is green. 
Rations are the best way to do that. Try to crouch down or assume crawl position and stay still while you're bleeding. Your life will recover mm -hmm. bit by bit. I'd recommend that you stay in hiding until the bleeding stops, if possible. Oh, okay. So aren't there like, uh... Aren't there some hiding spots around here somewhere? I seem to remember there being some... Cabinets, some, some lockers in one of these rooms. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Action button. Just go in. So if we stay hidden here. There we go. Look at that, man. That's much easier than just eating a week's worth of meals in a day. Thankfully, the life recovers pretty quickly, too. Well, at least the bleeding portion does, I guess. I'm assuming the, the normal thing of life wouldn't. And that guy out there isn't going to hear us in here, right? So we're safe to go through all these lockers. Wait a second. Hold on. We got to look at the art. It's good art. <laughs> Locked. We were just in that one. Anything? Nope. Locked. More art to appreciate? It's good. <laughs> I just... I, I don't get what possessed them to do this, man. Granted, never been in the military. Maybe that's really common to have in your lockers on ships and things. I don't know, man. <laughs> but... <laughs> uh. Feels a little out of place to me, but I'm I'm probably wrong on that, to be honest. Okay, so walk slowly. This guy doesn't come around the corner unless he suspects something. Okay, so he's gonna come up here. He's gonna stop right before us, yep. And then he's gonna turn around and walk away. So now we can pull out our gun aim and we want a headshot because the trank only works instantly when it hits the head put that away grab him as far as i know there's no other soldiers that come through here so we don't necessarily need to hide him but i would like yes that please and thank you okay and i'm assuming the ration trick works the same on this as it did in metal gear solid one where if we hold on to the rations, we'll uh, we'll automatically use them if we if we die or if we're going to die. That is deck A cruise lounge starboard. Okay, I vaguely remember this place. I still don't remember where we're actually going though. Other than the fact that we need to get upstairs eventually. Okay, we're good. And clear down here as well. Stun grenades, very nice. The engine room on the starboard side. Seems to be a lot of people down here. Raven. What? What do you mean, Raven? Oh. <laughs> Somebody put a little statue of him there. That's cute. Can we pick it up? No? That's too bad. I was hoping we could pick it up, do something with it. Can we... How do we climb? Action button? Hey. Okay, so we don't have the gun to use that yet. Is it in one of these lockers? What are you? Eye wire? Is that, is that an advertisement for something? Shoot it? Oh, God. Hi. 
Half expect, uh... <laughs> half expected, like, a zombie moment there, dude. Okay, pull out the gun. I'm assuming we just want to shoot it, like, right there. Nothing happened. Maybe we have to have a real gun, not a, uh, trank for it to work. Okay, so we can see on our radar that there's some people over here. Oh, shoot, Raven. Okay. <laughs> he activates. He's a little action figure. That's cute, dude. Even has, like, little BBs collecting on the ground there. That's cool. <laughs> that's, a, that's a cute little Easter egg. You're not gonna, like, fall over if I shoot you in the head, are you? Can you stop moving so damn much? Just take a nice little nap, man. You're good. You wanted to, uh, cuddle up with Raven, right? Can we, like, shove him in the box? Come on. Drop me something. Give me some rations or something, my guy. Surely you had some food on you, right? Can we shove them in a locker? Hey, we can! Very nice. You stay in there for a minute. Okay, so another guy across there. A guy down there. I'm assuming their line of sight doesn't work this far. Or at least I'm hoping their line of sight doesn't work this far. We're just going to work our way down. Okay, that guy will be a problem, though. Oh, we do have an actual gun. We have an M2. Guy, I need you to come back. Wait, though. If we have an actual gun... It's not silenced, though, with all the other people around here. Okay, okay, okay. We want to we wanna keep using the... The, the trank. Oh, God. Go down. Go down. <laughs> <laughs> We're fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> he moved at the most inopportune time, man. All right, we'll grab you. Get, get, we'll grab you. Thank you. You just came over to this little cubby hole for a nap. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary, man. Sure, no one will see your feet and wonder what the hell is going on. Cause so that's down. What's over here? Dead end. But we can get a little glimpse of that guy. Can we shoot him from here? Uh, only his feet, unless he moves. Now, it may be possible to like make a sound and get him to move. But if he just stays there forever, that's fine too. Yeah, it seems like he just stays put there, so... We'll just come down right here. Very slowly. Very stealth-like. And then... Can I see him yet? No. How do stealth takedowns work? I remember that being a thing. That was mentioned. We have to, like, sneak up behind them and something to do with, like, circle. Okay, get the gun out. GG. This is going much more smoothly than last time, man. I'm <laughs> kind of proud of myself so far. Besides, you know, the beginning. <laughs> We're doing decent, though. I'm happy with that. We're probably going completely the wrong direction. But so far, we've been uh, pretty, pretty stealth. And nothing over here. Or here. Just crossing over, then. 
That looks like a ration. We'll definitely want that. The more rations, the better. Thank you, game. Once asleep, we can afford to go a little quickly. Okay, there's someone over here, right around the corner. Are they on this level, though, or the next level? I can't look around this corner. Hopefully, they're not looking this way. Okay, they're not even on this level. We're fine. But wait. Where are they, then? Are they... They're right there. We can see their flashlight. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're fine. I was kind of worried that they might be, like, looking down this staircase here. There's a guy all the way up there. What else is on this level, though? A uh, person? There's a person on this level. Hi there. I wish we could pull out our gun while we were in first person mode. That would actually be handy. How accurate is our laser sight? <laughs> Hopefully very. Hey, there we go. Okay. You can peek corners with your back to a wall. Press R2 or L2. Good tip. Excellent tip. I should have known that, though, to be honest, because I, I noticed while uh, while in first-person mode, if I press R2, it kind of, like, leans around. Because I keep tapping it trying to equip the gun, and it doesn't, doesn't work. Okay, the question is, do we need to go all the way over here, or should we go up back there? Next question is, is there any hidden stuff? No. Hoping for, like, a hidden ration or something, you know? People just keep food in random places on ships. That's normal, right? You're on the other side of a wall. Maybe on the next platform up. There's some ammo right there. We don't really need it right now, though. Slowly make our way up. Okay, does this guy, how far does he come? He comes all the way over, but he never looks down the stairs? Is this true? I'm going to test it. I'm going to be patient. Okay, yeah, he definitely... Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Glad I stayed in the little cubby hole. Now, what's your pattern? Do you keep doing that? Okay, so we have time. After he comes down here, we have time to get him to get him down. Step two, while peeking a corner, press square. To fire around the corner, I'm assuming. <laughs> Love the way we're dragging him right there. That looked great. All right, well, we're on the other side of the ship now. I'm assuming we need... I'm going to test it out real quick just so we know. So, okay. So, we have the gun out. Uh... Hi there, buddy. Repair of the entrance way to the engine room on the port side is complete. We'll return to position following patrol of the small room on the port side. Okay, so L2 to peak. Oh god, he's gonna see me. He's gonna see me. Wait, did he go down instantly? Oh, he did go down instantly. I have no idea why, but thank you, game? I feel like the game just did us a solid there, honestly. And then there were some lockers back here, right? Can we just shove you in one of them? Okay, I kind of remember this this area. This is the area with the uh, with the lasers or whatever that we need to get past, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what he's about to tell us. Like, don't walk Snake, through here. Wait, don't move. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. I see it. Some kind of device on both sides of the hall. Infrared sensors. Right, and they're linked to. Let me guess. Semtex. Exactly. Plastic explosives. 
If you trip the sensors, I'll be sleeping with the fishes, along with this entire ship. That sounds about right. I'm not in the mood to go sleep with the fishes, but there are too many sensors. Looks like I'll have to find another way. No need to worry. There's a way through. Blow it the fuck up. Take a close look. Do you see the thing with blinking green lights right next to the explosives? That's the control unit for the sensors. Destroy that, and the sensors stop functioning. You can't get in close enough to touch it, so you'll have to shoot it out. I'm assuming but shooting M9's the knockout rounds won't work. Find a gun somewhere. The explosives themselves would be pretty bad, though. Wait. Oh shoot. Okay, I thought we had an actual gun. No, we just have the M9. Well, fuck me. That's fine. Oh hi. More artwork. Nice. Very nice. What do we got in this locker? Where do you get a picture of someone front and back like that? <laughs> like, <laughs> how does that work, man? Did you hire a model just to let you take that picture? Okay, so we still need the USP. That's fine. Uh, okay, well, we haven't been through this door yet, so maybe, maybe something over here. Engine room entrance, port side. I do remember this area is like a giant square that we can go all the way around. Okay. That guy's sleeping. This would be a great time for a stealth takedown. How do we... What's the save one? Do we have that? Autocon save. Circle is select, sir. Son of a bitch. So you've got <laughs> rations now. These are military food supplies I and allow to press you to recover there. some life with use. If it is equipped in advance, the ration will automatically be used and life will be regained when you receive damage. You can select it in the window and push the confirmation button to use the item on the spot. Rations were designed to be carried and eaten on the field. They're all about functionality and calories. They use special freeze-drying methods developed by the NROC. They're compact, portable, and last for weeks. Cool. Uh, can I save now, though, Otacon? <laughs> That's what I actually wanted, my guy. You want to save, Snake? Yes. Yes, I do. Just in case, I'm going to try a stealth takedown on this guy, and I don't know how that'll actually go. I think we just got to, like, sneak up behind them and hold circle. Cool. Maybe. Okay. See you, Snake. See you, Otacon. So very sneaky like. Walk up very carefully. Oh, this guy's also dirty. Wait, wait. There's another guy here. Okay, wait for him to leave. Oh god, nope, that didn't work. That didn't work. Stealth takedown bad. Stealth takedown bad. Uh, is he down? He's down. Okay. Drag him out of here. There's nowhere to, like, hide him, hide him. Oh, good. He gave us a ration, though. That was nice of you. Um... Unable to find the AWOL soldier. Nothing else to report. Hey, you dropped more rations. How many rations do you have, my guy? Oh, God. Uh, he's awake. <laughs> Is he back down? No. God damn it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't finish that message. <laughs> if you load a new area before the alert goes off, it cancels it. Okay, so he's down. So if we go here and then come back is what you're saying. The alert will be... The alert's canceled. Excellent. <laughs> Very good tip. We'll take that. That should also, I imagine, remove the, the stank from us. <laughs> oh, he's still down, though. Can we... While he's down, can we shoot him so instead of knocked out, he's tranked asleep? Yes. I like it. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay, so he's there. Now, we know this guy comes back and forth, so wait for him. I 
and then get ready for him to come around this corner. Does he come that far? He does not. He stops. That's, honestly, that's fine. Gently let go of square. That whole thing with gently letting go of square makes this all much more, uh... Uh, anxiety inducing honestly okay wait for him to, to come back and then turn around there's a couple guys though so we're gonna have to be careful of that or maybe isn't there another door here can I just go through this door cruise quarters this is just part of the giant's where though, right? So is this actually where we want to go, or do we want to go in that room down there? I'm trying to remember from when we played before, but my memory is not great. Aft deck on the port. Where is this actually? Oh, okay. Wait, is this where we came in at? Yes, this is where we came in at. Okay, so there's a guy down there that's going to end up seeing us. Can we go in this door yet, or is it still... It's still locked. That's fair. Okay, we can just uh, we can just get around this guy. We don't need to waste a bullet on him or risk it. We'll just wait for him to walk away, run back down there, go through the door. He's going to do his rounds in just a moment. I think. Okay, we should be good. Slowly, quietly, we got this. No need to rush. Deep breaths, everything's going to be okay. All right. Uh, so we're still looking for a gun. This guy's back up now. We've been in that room, so no reason to go around that way again. Let's go. Let's go back in here. What? <laughs> what was that? Hold on a second. Is it is it not possible to open this one? How do we just rip it off like that? That was weird. Okay, so we got to go back around, I guess. That's fine. We can do that. I thought since we had already come through it, we'd be uh, we'd be good to go through it again. But oh wait, there's a ration in here now. Was there a ration in here before? And I just forgot it. Maybe. Maybe it's like a Metal Gear on the NES where things respawn constantly. Right in the head. Take him down. This one still, yeah, that one's still locked. So the only place I know that we haven't gone yet is through here. Oh God, no, stick to the wall, snake. Holy shit, dude, that was scary. Um, there's another guy in there somewhere, right? Yeah, he's coming up now. Can we aim while we're here? Thankfully, he can't see very far. So wait, if he can't see very far and the other one never turns, we should be fine to just chill like right here like this. Go into first person mode. Wait for him to turn around. Okay, take you down. And now... Take you down. Oh, shit. Take you down. GG, boys. Okay, was there anything in this area? More ammo. rations which 
I mean, we don't need any more to pick up, but we might as well use one then. There we go. Okay, well, we can go up here now. Okay, we can't get in there. We can go over here. This is a new area, I think. I don't think we've been here yet. Okay, we got some doors. I hear footsteps. I think we're okay. Maybe. How far does that guy come? Oh, I wonder if the... Maybe the commands actually just slots all. Because you mistyped it there and it still worked. Okay, so we're good here. We should be able to hide here. Wait for him to come around. How far does he come? You stopping there, my guy? Okay, you're stopping there. That's perfect, honestly. That means we can wait for you to come over here. You won't see us. You'll turn around. Excellent. Now quickly, but accurately, take him down. Let's go, dude. I'm actually feeling like we're doing okay at the game. And <laughs> that's surprising. Uh, I don't think we need to hide you. I don't think anyone's going to come over here, but... Just in case, let's go ahead and sit you down here for a moment. I just noticed this. Uh, just ammo. Well, we'll put you in here. Nate wants to duel me for a thousand points? Sure. Why not, man? I can afford to lose another thousand points. If I could spell, except that's not the letter P. There we go. Hey, I actually won! Get fucked, Nate! <laughs> So wait, does this just loop us around to the other side? Okay, wait. No, that's the door that we couldn't go through. Yep. There's a guy there. What's up here, though? I'm worried if I go through this door, I won't be able to come back in. Because I think that's one of the locked doors. Okay, we got our first instance of cameras. We don't have a box yet. The camera doesn't seem to be moving either. Um, I'm assuming, although I don't know if correctly, that this gun isn't powerful enough to knock out cameras. Yeah, no. Okay, let's go back down first. And then we'll come back up here in a minute. Press against the... Oh, cool. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Because, like, the, the cone on it there isn't, like, straight down, right? It's kind of... It can't see directly under it. So if we press up against the wall, we should be safe. You don't come this far, right? Yeah, no, you stop. Gotta be quick about it. This guy's on a pretty quick timer. He's down. What is that? Is that more bandages? Very cool. Okay, and this is just a big circle. Yes, okay. And this is... So this would be the same place we just were, but going up the other side. But we can't go up this side. Okay. So, yeah, let's go back up the other side. And then, like Chocobo said, we'll uh, sneak around using the wall, maybe. Or pressing up against the wall. Oh, shit, I just realized it's a uh, break time, too. We've been playing for an hour already, dude. Okay, let's get past this part, and then we'll uh, go to our break. 
Look at us fucking go, man. I'm just happy I got you guys, otherwise I'd be so lost during all this shit. Okay, and this here is the blocked off section. Is there any goodies? Hold on. Ah, I was hoping that went a little bit farther. So, we know where some extra rations are if we need them. Alright, new area. Deck D, cruise quarters. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> okay, you know what? I think it's a perfect time to throw down a save. And then uh, we're going to take our break, which is good. Because I need to pee and fill up my water. I uh, forgot to fill up my water before I came up today. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, guys. We'll be back in like three to five minutes for a little bit more Metal Gear Solid 2. Sons of Liberty, let's go. That could have been bad. That could have been real bad, man. <laughs> I, I, I think that was scripted, honestly. I think that was a scripted moment, but... I don't know. Anyways, guys, like I said, I will BRB in like three to five minutes. Jet. Okay. Gotta, gotta. No! Son of a bitch. Okay, whatever. I give up, I guess. That extreme cheese. He likes milk. And she likes uh, ice cream, which is weird. But because she's not really a milk drinker or anything like that. But for some reason, she really likes the ice cream. Like there was one time, I forget what flavor ice cream it was. Probably just vanilla. But uh, I forgot to throw the lid away, and we were eating it, like, late at night. So it was, like, the next day, we go out into the kitchen or whatever, and the fucking lid, or maybe it was, like, in the afternoon, and we saw it later that night. Anyways, point is, we went into the kitchen, and the lid for the ice cream tub I had forgot to put away, and it was just fucking... Oh, I forgot there's, like, GTA-style shit. If you do stuff wrong, then the police come at you. But anyways, so yeah, the fucking lid was just completely, like, clean. Like, 100%. There was nothing left on it, man. Like, it was licked bare. She really enjoyed that ice cream that night. Like, <laughs> And pumpkin. She really likes pumpkin, too. Like, My name is May I help you fucking loves pumpkin. Where the hell am I? Uh, and he can't jump that high? Yeah. Well... He might be able to, but I'd be surprised if he could. <laughs> Your inside cat likes honey turkey? I feel like ours would like turkey, too. I mean, cats in general are, you know, they're meant to be carnivorous uh, more than anything else. So it's no, no wonder, you know? Bro, how you just gonna arrest everybody? Like an entire section of the city. Hi, time to murder. <laughs> Too easy. Uh, why we angry, bro? I don't know. I, I guess it's like a tutorial section. It's just making us it. I didn't choose to be evil. They're making me do it, guys. All right, I'm better again. <laughs> oh, you can't control it. I'm so angry all the time now. Only me and her eat it so it works out that way. It doesn't go to waste as easy. And can I just say I'm glad you're streaming today? You had the worst start of my day. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Honestly. On your way to your midterm, you slipped and fell on ice. Your back and hand hurts like hell. The midterm was bullshit. You really needed this. Also, fuck this police force. Kill them all. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. I'm really sorry about the, the slipping and falling and all that, man. That sucks. And the midterms are always stressful. Like, I'm sure you did well on it, though. Dark Jack is kick-ass. Dark Jack is kind of hot. <laughs> How you hitting on Dark Jack, man? Dude's got claws and can't control himself. Uh, I'd like to steal your vehicle, please. <laughs> yeah, it's GTA the video game. Or, like, GTA meets Jack and Daxter. 
That's uh. That's uh. That's where this came from, man. Where? Okay, we're going to the sword thingy. So we need to go around here. Have you met me? Dark emo boys are my style. Dark emo. What the hell are they? Wombats? Like. <laughs> I don't know what animal they are, technically. Jack and them. Or if they really even, like, are they a, a real animal? Or are they just something made up, even? Like, that's another thing, I guess. I don't really know. What's with the question mark? I don't remember the question marks in the game. Just a random uh, holographic billboard of a question mark, man. Are they, they advertising the newest Mario game or something? guys you appreciate that y'all there's wendy's chocolate frosty cereal you know I, I honestly don't even remember what a wendy's chocolate frosty tastes like it's been a long time since i've had one a long ass time man stream can't drive it seems bruh nah i drive just fine irl at least in video games it's whatever like yeah fuck it can hit some shit. It don't matter. There's no consequences. I like the fact that they still in, still throw in little comedy like that. Like maybe this guy's mute. You know, like you used to be. Bro, that's rude, noodle. <laughs> I was there and witnessed it. I would have cackled. Rude. Daxter's animal type. Definitely Daxter's animal type, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't paying any attention to what he was saying. What are we collecting? We're collecting something for him. I saw that much. Or heard that much, I guess. Oh. What's in the hole? Hello, Mr. Holy Hole. Do you have anything interesting for us? Nope. I guess it's just uh just here to hide from the from the police or something like that? Uh it's fine. I love how the police just don't seem to care that we're like stealing vehicles from people and shit. Like <laughs> just completely ignoring that. They're all over the place, but they can't see me fucking Stealing this this hover car thing. I'm sure they have names, but I don't know what they are. People falling make me laugh so hard. Not as hard as small struggles, though. What I'm hearing is you're just a rude person. What was the button to switch lanes? R2, okay. <laughs> hey, that dude hit me that time, okay? He could have hit the brake. I'm blaming that one on him. All right, all right. I'm back. I also grabbed a little bit of a uh, strawberry Charleston chew while I was downstairs. So excuse me while I eat. Demon Lord said down then up. <laughs> right then right. The Edgelord Eco. I'm assuming that, that had something to do with the uh, Jack too. Also, Eco. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. I'll put some votes on that. 100 votes on that. Proceed into the fourth dimension in real time. Uh, wait a second. Are we playing the, the, the Sands of Time now? Did we switch games and I didn't notice? I fucking love Charleston 2, man. Nah, Mel gives all a two man, it's easy. God damn, dude. I must have missed that in the tutorial. I'm like drooling on this fucking <laughs> Charleston Chew right now. Hmm. Oh, you're not gonna save. Well, okay. Just let me know when you need to. Just turn your PlayStation clock backwards. Isn't that a thing in one of the games where you gotta like turn the clock forward or backwards or something like that? All right. Hold on. So when you say right, 
Do you mean on the map? Go right and then up? Or do you mean, like, from the way Snake is facing? Go right and then up. It's an important distinction. <laughs> you can in three, but it's not friendly to the elderly. <laughs> Wait, do people actually die? In three? This floor, the deck D one, you mean? Just one man. I'm assuming you mean deck D. Okay, is, are they going to come back out? Or are they going to stay in there forever? Probably get our gun out, just in case. Deck D, okay. Okay, yeah, I think we're, I think we're okay. I don't think he's going to come back out through here. I am worried about this door opening up when we walk past it, though. Uh, okay, we started to get a call. There it is. Snake, there's another set of infrared sensors in place. If you touch that, oh, shit. the explosives will detonate and that ship will be pulverized. Hmm. There aren't that many infrared beams. Maybe you can get past those without setting off the explosives. If you need to see exactly where the beams are, you can use the usual method. Okay, okay, okay. There's a fire extinguisher over there. Break it open and try scattering some of the extinguishing chemicals. Oh, we can't just light the cigarette? Okay, so, wait, those are the, okay, those are the, the, the infrared sensors. these pumpkins hey there's the cardboard box very cool man yeah I'm glad we didn't miss that this time oh hi I was <laughs> coming in here to take a nap it's my kind of guy well let me get the cardboard box and then equip He gonna leave or is he just gonna like chill in here now? Can we look through the cardboard box? We can. Okay, no, he's he's gonna lay down for a nap now, right? Come on, man, you're so sleepy, so sleepy. Just go ahead, sit down, take a load off, relax for a bit. You got this. You're. No one knows you're here. It's just just me and you here, my guy. There he goes. There he goes. What a good soldier. Can we just sneak past him? Wait, is he still sleeping? He must be. Yeah, okay. I was going to say there's no no indicators on him. Oh, shit. What? Uh, shit. Uh, fuck. Uh... Wait a second, if we use the box now. Hi. Snake, get yourself out of sight now. Enemy search parties are on the way. It's a clearing. What? These aren't Did the door opening They're wake him up? Like... And they know you don't want to be found. You can't make some feeble attempt at concealment. Make sure you're completely hidden in some place they wouldn't think of searching. So like a box of oranges mixed around all the other box of oranges. I, I'm sure we're fine. Oh God! Oh God! Was there a noise just now? Yeah, there was a noise. You shooting shit? That was the noise. <laughs> Every 
Everything's fine. I'm just a box of oranges. It missed all the other oranges. He said clear. You can leave now. Oh, fuck me, dude. Okay. like how this dude's like looking in the box no you bastard <laughs> son of a bitch dude so good there for a moment. God damn it. Okay, it's fine. Just take me out. We'll reload the save. Thankfully, we saved right before we went to break. Um, and then we'll come back up here, assuming there's no checkpoints. And I guess we just gotta be really careful walking out. Or maybe we should just... We should probably just put a train card in that guy. The guy that came in here taking a nap. That's probably the best move. We know this here's all safe. Okay, so we can come over here. You can crawl under the island shelf. Of course you can. No, honestly, that makes a lot of sense. I didn't I didn't think of that, but that's a thing in this game. Like that makes perfect sense. It should have crossed my mind. Fill up my cup while we're waiting for this guy to fall asleep again. It takes him a minute. He's a bit tired. He just wakes up randomly. Yeah, like I said, that's why I think what I'm going to do is just, like, go over to the left side of the screen here. And then, uh, just put a trank dart in him. That way he just, you know, can't wake up. Or at least I'm assuming he won't wake up once we put a trank dart in his head. If he wakes up after that, I'm really going to be pissed, but he should be going to sleep any second now, though. There he goes. He's out. Uh, let's get... Go ahead and take this off. I, he's, he's awake again. I see it kind of like fades in and out. His uh his cone like as he's passing out and whatnot. Oh god, I can't turn. Uh Okay, he like got up and started walking around. <laughs> but wait, no, the things in there. The fucking fire extinguishers in there too, isn't it? Because I, I remember now seeing them uh, shoot it. God, no, it's fucking... No, it's not. The enemy's not here. You're knocked the hell down. Nothing's going on. Hold on. Okay, the alarm hasn't gone up yet. And Chocobo gave us this hint right here. Just fucking go here. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We'll just do that. We'll go up here. Does that guy come back in there, I wonder, after we reload the area? God, I'm so glad they didn't set off the alarm seeing him there. Or just dip, yeah. I'm going to pick the just dip option, man. Okay. So now... Wait, where's that fire extinguisher at? Oh, it's back there. How do I... Like, action button? X? Square? Circle? Okay, maybe, maybe this isn't the fire extinguisher we needed, actually. I'm 
thinking that's just another random fire extinguisher. So wait, was there... Okay. First off, you before someone, like, does come and find you. Let's just at least put you in this room over here. Something a little like that. Oh, fire extinguisher right there. Okay. Uh, it looks like we should be able to... You can't shoot the bottles. <laughs> Real question is, does it do anything? Because I was thinking about it, but I was like, nah, what's the point? Okay, so you're down. Now, is this going to make, like, a loud noise, or... Okay, so from what I'm seeing, it looks like if we just crawl, we're fine. Away the gun. At least get you so you're not, like, completely visible. Does this door do anything? Oh, okay. It takes us to the same room as the other one. Makes sense. We made it to the boss in an hour and 16 minutes this time, including our break. It's a hell of a lot better than the first time we played the game. So it is the Kasaka. Russian choppers. go pacifism again we did pacifism the the first time we bought this boss whenever we were just trying out the game for the gauntlet i'm thinking we might as well do it again it's probably a little bit harder but like i don't know i think it'll be fine there's probably some sort of bonus too i know like if you don't get caught don't kill a certain number of people etc throughout the metal gear games you get a uh, higher ranking at the end of it. I think if you save less times too, but... Snake, did you find out where that ship is headed? No, I'm looking at it. 35 degrees longitude, latitude around 58. More than 500 miles off the coast of the Bermudas, out in the middle of the Atlantic. So the prototype is ready for solo testing. It's basically combat worthy. That area is outside the Second Fleet's operational range too. It must be a standalone Marine Corps project which means this prototype Metal Gear must be designed for independent deployment without any naval assistance. Anyway, analysis can wait till later. Snake, you need to go down to the holds and locate the actual metal... <laughs> Aw, snap. Just mixing up a drink real quick. So we're going to take out the lady, and at least this time, I'm going to try to remember where the hell we're going afterwards. Down to the holds to find the actual Metal Gear prototype. So go all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom. Is there anything in here, though, that we should be picking up before we leave? A little bit more ammo, which is always nice. Let's go ahead and equip those rations in case things start to go poorly. Can we go out this side? No, I didn't figure. It's going to force us to face the boss, which... To be expected. Can we, like, get anything from these guys? No, okay. Go ahead and equip the gun, then. And let's go out, man. Let's deal with this lady. Shalashashka has landed. I'm on my way to the tanker hold. Report your status. 
Control room, communications and engine room are under control. All entry and exit points to the tanker hold secured. Infrared sensors placed and operational. Good work. Are the explosives in place? Yes, they are all planted. Listen, once we have what we came for, the tanker will be scuttled. And the vehicle's pilot? He's the only one who underwent the VR training. No one else can do it. Are you sure you can trust him? Your part in the mission is complete. You are to leave at once. No, it's not over yet. I can see the moon, even in this storm, pale as death. I have a bad feeling about this mission. You swore this to me, that you would leave the unit once the mission was complete. Do not worry, this is a country of liberty. No, this is where I belong, with the unit. I have nowhere else to go. Father, I want to stay and fight. There is no choice to make here, Olga. Need I remind you that you are carrying my grandchild? You will be on the helicopter. Why is she out here fighting if she's pregnant, bro? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Makes me kind of feel bad. Like, I can't imagine even the tranquilizers are all that good for, for a pregnant woman, you know? Killing her would probably be worse for the child, the unborn child, but like, Freaks. hey. That many drugs coursing through your system? Hands Probably your not head. the best thing, now. either. Toss your gun overboard. Slowly. Nick, you know she's got more than that. A woman. Show your face. You men. You're all the same. Who are you? We are nomads. Wanderers. I said to move. Americans. So you shoot women too. I'm a nomad too. What else do you have there? Take the knife and toss it. Wait, didn't we get a real gun before we came here last time? Not there. Toss it over. Hold that position. Now, turn around. You know what you're doing. Maybe not. I could be wrong. Maybe we pick one up here or something. Stop playing. Not too shabby, is it? New York, I mean. Ever dodged that shot of mine. But no one gets lucky twice either. Wanna bet, dude? Already kicked your ass once. I'm happy to do it again. Okay. So. Okay, so it's square and then L1 is the aim. We don't need to be super precise with this one, I don't think. Headshots are gonna do I've much been for with us. This unit since I was born. The I one thing we on do need to do though. Shut up, lady. Take out. Ow. I want to take out that fucking light. You have some bad news? What's the bad news? Like, is it real bad news? Or is it just like... What? That is ridiculous. What do you mean you don't have the chips, man? <laughs> How can you not have the chips? No, I've, I've been craving some chips recently. Did we get her? Ow. Right, she definitely got us. What kind do I want? The kind that I always want? To me, I don't think auto-aim's working because we can't see her right now. Did we hit her? It sounded like we hit her, but I don't know if we actually did or not. Can we, like, aim from over here? We can. Ow. Damn it, dude. Put your head back out there. It sounded like we hit her, but again, I don't know if we actually did or not. Can we shoot the thing? 
There we go. Definitely got her that time. Make the chips yourself. <laughs> Chocobo, thanks for the bits, man. Unthinkable. I know, it's ridiculous, ain't it? How can a store run out of chips, dude? What? We were, like, on her. Come on. Dad, where, where are you going? Gotcha. Yeah, go ahead. Just stay right there. That's fine. Damn it. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Get down. Noodle, thank you for the bits, too. Chocobo, thank you for four more bits. Thank you, thank you, guys. Make the chips yourself. You know, I've never tried making salt and vinegar chips before. That would actually be a, uh, I don't know, something to consider. Probably not right now, but in the long run. Try it out. I just don't know how you'd get that, that vinegar flavor really in it without making them soggy. I think chip manufacturers use, like, a powdered vinegar sort of thing, I think, but I could be wrong. What's that base for, love? Is Chocobo back on top of <laughs> the leaderboard, the bit leaderboard? Is that what that face is for? Just leave some vinegar out to dry. <laughs> and just throw it in a dehydrator real quick. It'll be fine. This ship appears to be under their control. The men have Russian gear, but I haven't been able to find out anything else about their origin. I know who they are. You do? We've ID'd the old man. Who is he? Sergei Gerlukovich. Gerlukovich? One of Ocelot's allies? Yeah, the Gru Colonel. He's Maltodextrin, the isn't that like a... Uh... After Shadow Moses. I don't think that's a vinegar, man. I think that's a uh, this is not gonna be as simple as we thought. a carbohydrate, right? You could say that. I saw a surveillance chip, so I want uh, like the cheesy cipher. puffs. A marine cipher tea? No, army. First the marines, then the Russians, now the army. You're Everybody right. wants this, this damn prototype. Simple. Snake, there's something I have to tell you. What? We didn't dig up this info about the new Metal Gear on our own. Not like usual. How did you find out then? It was a tip. An anonymous tip. Anonymous? You've never trusted those. Why would you start now? I, uh... I have a younger sister. A stepsister. We have different parents. I what only a stepsister is. Years. You've never mentioned her before. So? Yes. The sender of the tip was E.E. E.E.? -E? E -E? Her name is Emma, but I always call her E.E. -E. Emma? Emmerich? Yeah. It just caught my eye, you know. I, I figured it was a coincidence, but I couldn't get it out of my mind. There's really no one out there who knows about her. When was the last time you saw her? Over ten years ago. You think it's a trap to lure us out here? I don't know. After I got the tip, I did break into the Pentagon system to get confirmation. Okay. Watch your back, Snake. Maybe I screwed up. I've got a light-equipped USP. I can take them on now. There's no ammo, but it takes a 9mm, just like the Marines M9. I'll find <laughs> those somewhere Sister AP. Here. Don't raise too much racket with that <laughs> thing. I hear you. So honestly, that's what I was thinking, too. Like, <laughs> if her name's Emma, wouldn't it make much more sense to call her, well, just Emma, or maybe M? Or hell, even E would be okay, but EE? -E? Like, that's, that's more complicated than her actual name, my guy. Alright, do bosses draw off anything? You'll get some of those too since they're on sale? Hell yeah, dude. Wait. What was that? She did drop something, but it just had her name. Is it like a... Like an info thing on her or something? Sure, there's nothing there. Oh, a dog tag. Of course, yeah. You guys might have mentioned that last time we played. I vaguely remember climbing up this. I'm going to save real quick, too, actually, now that we took that out. Oh, Was it worth save? it? Was there a Just reason a to climb all the way up this thing here? To the top of the, uh, the crow's nest? Oh, right, yes. Thermal goggles. Thank you, thank you. Yep. I remember we did it. I just couldn't remember why. 
Yeah, I could see that coming Snake, in handy though, so we will do that. You know the saying, one for all, all for one. What mm -hmm. is this all of a sudden? Oh, I figured you'd need a lot of motivation, so I came prepared. It's from the Three Musketeers, the book, not the candy bar. Anyway, it means that if you go up against everyone by yourself, they'll gang up on you too. I think. Since you're on your own on that ship, oh, you need neat. to take okay. this to heart and avoid confrontations. How is that? Just like the old days, huh? Almost reminds me of Mei Ling. But you sure you got it right? Of course. And I'll teach you a lot more of these. You can count on it. Great. Thanks, Otacon. <laughs> Whatever would we do without you, my guy? So it's a slightly sweet, flavorless powder derived from starch. Yeah, okay, so it is a carbohydrate. That's what I thought. Um, but you spray the vinegar onto it. And after it dries, it, like, retains the, the tartness of it. Because, like, the... And the flavor, too, I would hope. Maybe it's worth trying out, then? I don't know, man. I imagine you can probably just buy... Like, because maltodextrin... I don't think it's something they just sell at the grocery store. Like, the local grocery store. Though, I could be wrong. Um, so, like, if you're going to have to special order something... I imagine someone makes, like, a vinegar powder. I just hope it's, uh, it's good. Because, like, a lot of salt and vinegar chips... I don't know. There's something about their vinegar powder that I'm not a huge fan of. Like, uh, the one, my, what used to be my favorite ones, I think they were hers? Kettle cooked salt and vinegar? Those used to be my favorite, and I really enjoyed them, but I, it, it, lately, not so much. I don't know if they changed the, their vinegar, or if my tastes have just changed, or what, but, uh, but yeah. Uh, also, that dude's got a shotgun? Holy shit. Snyder of Berlin sea salt and malt vinegar. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Can we... You Googled it. That's how a lot of chip manufacturers do it. It's porous, so it absorbs a lot of the vinegar flavor, especially since you could decide the level of vinegar. That's cool. So I might try it out one of these days. If, uh... Damn it. I thought we had him there. If maltodextrin's easy to come across, at least. Is he just... Okay, there he goes. He's, he's out. I didn't mean to shoot that time, but oh well. Okay, I don't think there's anyone else over here, so we should be fine. I'm assuming there's, like, something hidden over here somewhere, so, like... You eat the regular her salt and vinegar now extremely hit or miss okay so it's a wet box excuse me wet cardboard box cardboard box to transport perishable food wet and weak put to wear so that's like if we miss the the good one we can <laughs> we can grab the wet one i guess also when we're outside it would look a little more not out of place it would look less out of place rather select special on title screen enter dog tag viewer mode to look at obtain dog tags that's what it's for makes sense makes sense youtube channel that breaks down everyday items into ingestible forms like rubber gloves into hot sauce now red his name is now red he also made uh rubber gloves into grape soda if i remember correctly I spend a lot of time on YouTube. <laughs> Too much time, some would say. But, yes. No, I have uh, I have watched Now Red. I really do enjoy his videos. Um, and that's just... It literally blows my mind. Like, how do you just take... Uh, I think they were... Not latex gloves, right? They were... Um, oh, they weren't regular rubber gloves either though i don't think but anyways point is <laughs> yeah no the the fact that you can just take gloves and through different chemical processes you can turn it into either uh hot sauce or grape soda just blows my mind man okay so There's oh. two people in... Oh, shit. What's Hi. That? Alarm didn't go off. Run away. Run away. <laughs> We're fine.
fine. Everything is good. Should be good to go right back down, I'm assuming. They probably don't reset their position immediately, but the alarm thing probably resets immediately. Oh no, it does look like they probably reset their alarm immediately. So wait, is that a camera going back and forth? I'm thinking that's a camera, so are we good to just take the guy out? Because it doesn't look like the camera ever quite goes over the guy's position. Yes, yes, you do. That's his TV of choice. It is my TV of choice. This is very true. Okay, so we need to time this right. Maybe, maybe use the box, too. Yes, I, I know there's a camera. That's why I was trying to, to use the box game before you took it off me. What? <laughs> How did it see me? Son of a bitch. Uh, anyways, that's his TV of choice it is. Seems like it's labeled as a supplement, so we may have some in pharmacy. Hmm? Same. Downside is maltodextrin acts similar to sugar when introduced to the body. It's so deliciously. God damn it, Chocobo. <laughs> There's probably, I know there's a, uh, it may just be maltodextrin that's absorbed a bunch of vinegar, but I do know there's a, uh, um, there is something like a vinegar powder that, what? Discord? No, don't update right now. I can't see my fucking monitor. That would have been bad in the middle of, like, a boss fight or something. Uh, but I've seen it on the back of some chip bags. Oh, God. You just woke him up, didn't you? Ooh, this could be bad. I'm sure we're fine. I just thought there might be some cool stuff in here, so I wanted to come this way instead of going the other way around. I'm gonna wait for them to stop searching to give us the best chance of getting out of this alive. I think we picked a decent spot to hide though, like... You dropped a mini Reese cup and now you can't find it? How dare you. Although the mini ones I don't think are as good as the uh, full size ones. The full size ones are just like the perfect combination of chocolate and uh, peanut butter. The small ones are good. The giant ones though I don't really like. The, the giant cup ones. Those ones are meh at best to me. There's just too much peanut butter in it. The ratio is all off man. These ones taste like the peanuts were burnt. What the fuck? Wait, does he just go back and forth? Well, that's annoying as shit. Okay, wait, he does turn around. Okay, so wait for him to come this way. Turn. Is he gonna turn around or is he just facing that way now? Nope, there he goes, okay. One, two, three. Four. And then I think he flips around after that. I'm too scared to pop up right now, though. Yes. Okay, take off the bag. Put on the rations. Aim. Head. He's down. And I think he's out of view of the camera. Oh, we can crawl under that. So it seems like this room did end up being useless, sadly, other than, I guess, if we needed the rations. But we didn't. Hi. Bye. <laughs> okay, so now that we have the real gun, we're going back down to that other place with the infrared sensors, right? 
Uh, hi there. <laughs> I'm so glad he didn't turn to look. Okay. Take a shortcut past the smelly guy. The smelly guy was at the top of the stairs on the port side, which on the map would be the left side. Okay. So we're gonna have to take this guy out, I think. Because we have to sneak past that camera so carefully. not quite how I expected that to work. Hold on. Come back. There we go. Hi. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Bit of a waste of ammo, maybe, but we got there in the end. You can shoot out the radios and they can't... That's awesome, dude. That's a really cool thing. I think that's why I like Metal Gear Solid so much more than I like the other stealth games that I've tried. Is all the little shit like that, man. Like, that's sick. You can shoot out their fucking radios and they can't call for help anymore. That's an incredible little feature, man. A, an awesome little, uh... Detail that they added into the game. Deten- or attention to detail. That they have there. Okay, so yeah, I think we want to go down this side. Detention to detail, yep. Okay, so far this seems like the same as last time. That's Kojima's brain. <laughs> Detention to detail. Uh. Headshot down. Wait. way do we actually want to go no we 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 want to go down this side right oh wait no that one's locked so i guess we can't yeah and that just takes us back around to the other side okay 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 yeah we're gonna we're gonna have to go down this side i think i mean we could go we can go outside here, go down the stairs. I don't know which way's faster. Oh, never mind. That's locked. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Back. <laughs> Just gonna walk up and down this same hallway 16 times. We're fine. Splinter Cell was one of your favorites. Only got to play a little MGS. See, we tried Splinter Cell on stream not too long ago. Um, yeah, exactly <laughs> what Chocobo said. It uh, it was okay, but it Metal Gear Solid man is just it's honestly something special. As far as stealth games go, as I've I've mentioned it before, I I never thought I liked stealth games because pretty much every time I've tried one, I've just been very iffy about it at best. So I thought I just didn't like them, but no, it turns out that uh, all the ones I played before were just not amazing, just okay. Oh, some bandages. I'm assuming we can like crawl under this somewhere. How do we get those other bandages? There we go. Uh, never mind. I can't stand up. I definitely saw something else over here, though. Yeah, see? Can I crawl around it? No? How do we get... Oh, those are probably on the next level down, aren't they? 
I think we're on the completely wrong side to get to take that shortcut you were talking about past the smelly guy, sadly. So I'm pretty sure we're taking the long way around here, but uh Yeah, I don't know how how to get back down. Last one you played was on OG Xbox. Conveniently, the last one I played was on OG PlayStation 2. <laughs> it's probably... Well, no, there's, there was multiple games. I was going to say it's probably the same one, to be honest. But now that I think about it, there's a lot of... A uh, lot of Splinter Cell games. So it's actually a decent chance that it was different ones, even if we both last played retro ones. Remember Chaos Theory the most? Liking Chaos Theory the most? I can't remember at all which ones I tried as a child. Because I, I, I'm fairly certain. We might have rented it. But I'm fairly certain that I did uh, try one or two of them out when I was a, a youngin. Oh, some hidden rations. Alright, through this door. A youngin? Yes, a youngin. A young person. Not an old person. You have a question? Ask away, love. Oh, this is the one that fell off. We can't we can't use that one. How mad would I be if what? Oh wait, no, this is actually the right way anyways. Okay. Probably not the shortcut that Chocobo was telling us about, but I'm pretty sure over here is actually where we want to go anyways. Okay, you actually come up here, so let's just wait a second. If you put a gnome mug... See, I wouldn't be upset about the fact that it's a gnome. I wouldn't be upset about the fact that you decide to spend your money on something you like. The problem is we have too damn many cups in this house, dude. Oh God. Uh, hi. I'm glad you're. <laughs> I'm glad you can only see like a few feet in front of your face, dude. Otherwise, it'd be really bad for us. Is this open yet, or is this still shut? Still shut. So very mad. I wouldn't be very mad. We just we really don't need any more mugs in this house, man. How difficult would it be to clean? Thankfully, we have a dishwasher. Um, a little countertop one because we rent so we can't really just, you know, install a dishwasher in here. But we have a countertop dishwasher. So, uh, I mean, you just throw it in there and... Oh, it says hand wash only? I mean, that's up to you then, love. But yeah, that sounds like a, that sounds like a bad idea to me, dude. <laughs> a hand wash only mug? No mug at that? Okay. So yeah, we are going the right way, but it's definitely the long way around. Not microwave or oven save? And do not put on fire? Wait a second, is this thing fucking... Does it have, like, metal or something on it? Or, or graphics? Like, uh... Like, plastic on it or something like that? Even plastic, though, you think would be okay, like, in the microwave. Cheap paints. It's lead. <laughs> it's lead-based paint. See, that's why you can't put it in the microwave. <laughs> All that lead will, uh, fucking heat up. God damn it. Come on. There we go. Got him. I think we're going the right way. If, if we're going the wrong way, feel free to yell at me. It's definitely the long way around, but I think we're at least going in the right direction. I vaguely remember where all these people are. So we can wait for you to turn, and then... Now we just gotta, like... Yeah, right there. Perfect. You're down. 
There was nothing over here. There was another person around here somewhere. Up on the next level, though. Does he check the stairs? Can I get you from here? I can. Go to sleep, my guy. Take a rest. You earned it. Oh, shit. That's right. There's one over here, too. Almost forgot about you. Post in Discord so you can see it when I take my break. Thanks. Love. I'll take a look at it, which actually... Thank you for reminding me. I just turned over and looked. It's, uh... It's been another hour, damn near. The ad manager tells me we got five minutes before we have to take another break. Okay, so the smelly guy, I think... Is right... above us here and this is where we have to shoot the thing let's go dude okay i'm gonna save before we do that just just in case like i fuck it up and shoot oh, the fucking explosives or something yes yes i do save normal over uh yes no over right Debit is above the transaction limit. Okay. What did I just spend? There's a saying that goes, even a bird on high dies a glutton's death, as do the fish what? of the deeps. The lesson is, uh, don't be greedy. The fish that belonged oh, okay. to a family called the now. deeps died from overfeeding, and so did a bird that got high on something, probably fermented fruit. Okay, if you say so. I do, Snake. Don't take unnecessary risks just because you're greedy for more items. Remember the think, Deep family's fish. I think Otacon is struggling a little bit with his motivational speeches, man. Okay, so let's equip the real gun, the USP. Aim and... Uh... Hold on. Let's get a little bit closer. So we need to shoot that thing there, right? That's not the... Expl I I'm pretty sure that's the thing we need to shoot. Okay. So in theory now, I can just walk through this and we're fine. I thought that was it! <laughs> what? What the... That was the green light. He said, What's shoot the green. Snake. Snake. Was there more than one? That was one. There was more than one. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> Thermal goggles help. That's a great idea. Because the uh, infrared would show up on it, maybe? I'm assuming. Okay. Thermal goggles. Hey, look at that, man. Okay, so let's shoot that again, which is significantly harder with the goggles on, but I think it's this thing. This is the wrong gun. They help see the laser. Well, yeah, and I know what you meant. I just figured I could save myself from equipping and unequipping if I just took it all out in one go. Well, that was the bomb. <laughs> That's why you take off the damn goggles, it turns out. And I was right. I was wondering about that earlier. What happens if you shoot the Semtex? Alright. Take off. Don't put the goggles on until we shoot the bombs. We got this. It's all it's all learning experience, man. Uh no, we do we do need the gun still. We just need the other one. There we go. Okay, so that's down. Now, can we shoot more of the boxes? It doesn't look like it. So we probably now just have to equip the thermal goggles. Oh, wait, no. There's no way to go past that. Okay, there must be another box around here somewhere.
I know I'm blind. Where? Game? Hello? Oh, for a different vantage point. Good idea. Snake climb. Thank you. Is it... Is it that thing right there? God, I'm scared. Did that work? Hey! Okay. Cool. So there's probably one more then because there's three sections of lasers, right? So that was the middle one. I think the other one... Is that thing right there? Let's fucking go, dude. Okay. Equip the goggles. They're all gone. Thank fuck. And with 10 seconds to spare, <laughs> we're going to take our break real quick, guys. We'll be back in just three to five minutes to hopefully find the actual Metal Gear prototype. BRB. This where we're going? I think so. Uh, Triangle? There we go. How do we get out of the car? You don't want to spoil it about Dax or is revealed at the end of three what he specifically is now. And it is good noodle. I just, uh, I was just wondering if he was based off of a... So I think they might have, uh... <laughs> I think they might have rushed this game out a little bit more than Jack 1, guys. I'm not sure, but it seems just a, uh... Seems just a little bit broken in, in some places. You know? Like... I don't know what it is though. It's just something, something, something about the game feels just a little bit off compared to <laughs> Jack One. <laughs> oh Lord, is it the same on the other side? It is. It's the same on both sides. How did they miss that? Holy shit! But anyways, yeah, I didn't mean like what he is like now. I just meant like in general, what kind of animal he is, if he was even based off one. I don't know for sure if he actually is, or if it was just a uh, original creation for the games. Um, I guess we're just going around. I don't. I don't think there's anywhere specific. Uh, like that we need to detour for or anything like that at the moment. I will say honestly, like so far though, I think Jack One looked better too. Which is weird, since it was made, you know, before Jack 2. It's an older game. You would think that the newer game would look better. And I guess, like, technically speaking, it's probably, like, more detailed with, with more geometry and, and better texture work or, or more varied textures or whatever. But, like, everything's so brown and gray so far. Whereas before, we had, like, all that lush landscape and, and different colors and variety and that's what we're missing in this one man but i i do know it does open up more later on right if i remember correctly like the entire game isn't played in this, this one little town from what i remember i i haven't played that far into jack 2 but i uh used to watch my brother play it every now and then and i seem to remember it opening up a bit oh shit need to pay attention shit's fallen Ah, crumbly bricks. Bruh, too easy. That was a platforming challenge. What happens if I, like, stand under the nothing? I was kind of hoping that, like, some shit would fall on us. I'm not going to lie. You forgot your beef jerky up here? Come get it. You're allowed in the bedroom while I'm streaming. Like, ha, <laughs> Or if you want to wait till a break or whatever, I can throw it down to you. Or run it down to you. You're eating ramen now? Bro, I was actually thinking about that the other day. Um, like, I bet... I'm sure someone's done it before. But I bet some uh, beef jerky, like, rehydrated in ramen would actually be pretty good. Just leave out, like, a little bit of the soy sauce or something so it's not quite as salty. And then just 
put a few uh, pieces of chopped up jerky down in there. I bet you that would actually taste pretty decent. Add a little bit of the, the salt back into it, a bit of meat. Um. Okay. So, <laughs> I hate to do this, but <laughs> the beef jerky comment reminds you of the starfish. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know what you're talking about. Um I'm going to have to stop the stream and uh so I can restart my computer I think. That random Discord update notification that popped up. I was trying to uh type something in chat a moment ago and every time I hit any keyboard button doesn't matter which one it is, it pops up Asking if I want to allow Discord to make changes to my computer. And then I tried typing in OBS, or I tried hitting a different key. I don't remember why, but like I tried typing something else in. Yeah, I tried putting in an exclamation mark. And then Google popped up, asking if I gave Google Chrome permission to update. So something's messed up on the computer all of a sudden. So I think I'm gonna have to restart my computer. Before we do that though, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save again. My PC is not connected to the PS2, so I guess it doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna save real quick anyways, again. And uh, yeah, I'm, I, I hate to stop the stream midstream, but we're gonna have to stop it so I can restart my computer. And then, assuming that everything is okay after that, we'll uh, we'll finish up the last hour, hour and a half of the stream. Because I do want to keep playing Metal Gear Solid 2. Um, if the computer's still fucked, then I guess I'll Another post Chinese in Discord that, hey, you know, the computer's possible. fucked. Those Something's going on. I don't know. Do you know this one? You rehydrated a starfish. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I remember you telling me about that now, actually. <laughs> I do remember that coming up on stream. And it just, like, uh, well, did not go well, let's say. <laughs> but anyways, guys, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess I'm going to stop the stream, restart the computer, and hopefully I'll be back in, like, a couple of minutes. I hope you guys rejoin. It really sucks Clo or quitting a stream in the middle of it, but, you know. Anyways... BRB. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs>